Today marks 55 years since civil rights leader Megger Evers was assassinated. WJTV 12's Candace Coleman talked with Mississippi NAACP leaders about the legacy he left behind and civil rights progress since his death. He fought for voting rights, fair trials, desegregated schools and businesses, but his work was cut short at the hands of a racist murderer. Megger Evers was well known as the NAACP's first field officer in Mississippi. And 55 years after his slain, the organization's current leaders say there's still work to be done. There have been some improvements, but not much change. Just different, different color suit. They took off the white hoods, and put on three piece suits. Though the country has seen a black president and numerous black led cities, NAACP leaders believe race relations are still broken. The flag must come down from our state because this flag do not represent us as me as a black man and us the most African American in our community. And that not enough young people are carrying Evers' torch. We have been trying to find ways to make sure that we can go out into the community and let the young people know that they are the one that's going to be affected by this system more so than I am because I'm 71 years old. Do you think he would feel satisfied in how far we've come? No, I don't think so. But if he lived and was here to, to be here, I know that we, I don't believe that we would be in the condition that we're in now because I know that he would have kept that fight going all along. Candace Coleman, WJTV 12.